going to read is called A Frog's Life Cycle. Because this book is nonfiction, I ask myself different questions when I go to read it. So first I look at the cover and see if I think it's going to be something that I want to read about. And I do like frogs, so I want to read this book. And it's called A Frog's Life Cycle. So I'm predicting with this book that I'll get to learn about how a frog grows up. So before I start to read, I want to think about some things I already know about frogs. What do you know about frogs? I know that frogs start out as like a little fishy looking thing called a tadpole. And I know that there can be poison frogs that live in like the rainforest. I know that here at my house, I've seen a little green tree frog before. And when I was a little kid, I have a connection. I used to see frogs that would hop around near our pond and sometimes get into the pool where we would swim when we were little. So those are the things that I know about frogs. I'm gonna bring that knowledge that I already have to reading this book, A Frog's Life Cycle. Eggs in the pond. Many kinds of frogs live around the world. Frogs are amphibians. They can live in water and on land. All frogs have the same life cycle. Wood frogs live in wetlands. In spring, females lay eggs in water. A thick, clear jelly holds the eggs together. Tadpoles grow inside. So now I know that a frog starts out as an egg. I didn't know frogs had live babies before, so that's new learning for me. Growing tadpoles. I know a little bit about this. Tadpoles hatch from the eggs in about 14 days. Using their long tails, they swim around the pond. Tadpoles eat algae and grow fast. That thing's a little freaky, isn't it? Tadpole's body goes through many changes. First, it grows back legs. Then lungs take the place of gills. The tadpole can now breathe out of water. Next, the tadpole begins to grow front legs. Its tail gets shorter and shorter. The tadpole becomes a froglet. I like that one. That's my favorite so far. I like the word froglet. So I know now that a froglet is this little guy. It's like half frog, half tadpole. Frisky froglets. A froglet spends time in water and on land. It uses its new legs to search for food. The froglet hops in the woods looking for insects. After about four months, a froglet fully loses its tail. It becomes an adult frog. Wood frogs live for three to four years. Adult frogs. All wood frogs are tan or brown. In the fall, they crawl under leaves. During winter, frogs freeze as hard as ice cubes. Their hearts stop beating. Wow, so that's what happens to them in the winter. In spring, wood frogs thaw. They hop into ponds. Males croak mating calls to females. The life cycle of a frog begins again. And that's the end. Okay, so what I do after I read a nonfiction book is I think a little bit about the things that I knew and the new things that I learned from this book that I want to remember. So the thing that I knew before I read the book was basically about frogs moving. And I knew that frogs started out as tadpoles. But in this book, I learned that before they were a tadpole, they were an egg. And after they're a tadpole, they were a froglet. So I learned more about their life cycle. The other thing that I thought was really cool that I want to remember and tell somebody else is that they um, grow up in about four months but they can live for four to five years. So some frogs could be as old as we are in preschool and kindergarten. And this is super crazy. This page told me that during the winter, frogs freeze. So they don't die in the winter. When they go dormant in the winter, they actually freeze. It said as hard as ice cubes and that their heart actually stops beating, but they're not dead. They thaw kind of like almost melting, their body melts back into its regular self and their heart starts to beat again. And then they can start their baby's life cycle all over again in the spring. I think that's pretty amazing. So I wanna remember that information, take it to the next books that I read and share it with somebody else. 
I was hoping to learn more about some other kinds of frogs. So now I'm going to start to look for some books that are about the things that I didn't learn from this book. So I want to learn about the rainforest frogs. So I might go to the library if I could, or I could search in Mayan or Tumble Books or Storyline or Unite and see if there's other frog books. Here in Mayan, there's other frog books. And I think I might be interested in reading one of those or those because they have the colorful frogs. I want to learn about the rainforest frogs. So when I read a nonfiction book, I might not find out everything I want to know, but I learned some new things and I can start to look for other books to find out more. Enjoy reading.